Good morning, everybody. It's so awesome to be here, to be in the land of the living. But, um, you know, over the last couple of weeks, it's just been really just listening to other people's stories and just praying and being in this role of your spiritual growth pastor. It is a lot going on right now, and I just feel it. Um, I'm always concerned with what's going on and trying to figure things out and, you know, just in church life and personal life and all these different things. And it just comes an overwhelming cataclysm of just, I just need to sit in God's presence and trying to do it on my own and everything. But it's always bring me back to what he told me to begin this year. Put me first. So you seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. So peace will be added to you. The, the decisions, the strategies, solutions will be added to you. He will give it to you. All you just got to do is just rest in him. And we always talk about people want to be rich and things like that. But richness is to me is resting in Christ's hands. And so therefore, we just got to take our time just to rest in his hands, sit at his feet, Stop doing the busy things that are always trying to be distractions, feeling like we're doing the things for God, but really, are we sitting at his feet just listening to him? Are we taking the time to uh, just listen to uh, gospel music or Christian music or relaxing music and just reading our word or taking that time just to meditate on him? Because he tells us to do that day and night. You know, we want to have all these things, but are we allowing him to us just to sit in the green pastures and, and letting him lead us to the still waters. So is he letting us be, uh, are we so busy trying to do it our way, saying, just releasing and taking our hands off of it and say, God, you just take control. Are we doing those things? And even in those moments where, yes, my intellect, yes, my intelligence, yes, my smartness, yes, my research, but it's still, Lord, you have given it to me. So let me give it back to you. Let me do those things because um, just listening to when uh, Brandon was telling the students about the, who were going off to college, one of the things, and our students were up and coming, one of the things he says, are, if, are we putting the things of God first? And if we're doing the things for God, then watch, he will bless everything else that we do. And so in Hebrews 11, 1, it's like, we, are we walking in faith? Are we doing the things in faith? Because faith is... Uh, shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. And then if we go back in the old days or reading the Old Testament, there's a lot of people who had faith. They just did things. They didn't have all the contraptions. They didn't may not have everything that they needed, but they just had faith to be obedient, to do the things God asked them to do. And Moses, he had, hey, I'm going to give you Aaron. And matter of fact, then Aaron and her was holding his hands up while they're in the midst of the battles and they were winning. But soon and that was because if Moses dropped his hands, they would be losing. Mm -hmm. So who do you have on the side who's going to hold you accountable? Who are you going to have on the side who's going to keep you just on focus and on the path of the things that you need to do? And who are you allowing to give you that accountability? So in that, I would say, everybody, just please put God first. Because he is the one who is the source of everything that you need. Everything else, our relationships, our jobs, our families, all, those are just resources that we have and tools that we have to continue on this life. But he is the ultimate source of our, everything that we need. So please seek him first. Seek him first. Any decision you make, go to him. Anything that you need to do, go to him. Before you even talk to have a hard conversation, go to him. Before you have to discipline your children, go to him. So put him first. Focus on Christ. Be led by the Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Dear Holy Father, we just thank you for this devotion. Thank you for this time of just opening up. Thank you, God, for all that you're doing for us. Help us, Lord, to put you first in everything we do. Thank you for our family, Lord. Let us lean on one another, oh God, so that we don't get trapped up, slipped up, or cut up by the enemy. In Jesus' name that we pray, amen. Amen.